end. All right. Let's progress. Good luck. You. You're going to need it. Okay, thank you for that. Hey guys, Sack Marsh here and welcome back to Super Rubber Ross World. So, uh, if you didn't watch the last episode, I made zero progress. I lost those 16 out of my lives. I did not make it to the ends, but on the good on the plus side, the game does let you continue if you do start it. So Yeah, um so that so I didn't know that was a thing. I didn't know that there was a new a continue option if you do lose. But I'm gonna be going back to the first level again. And, uh, we're just gonna see how well we actually do with this. I, the good news is I have my knowledge of the, of the previous run intact. So I should know how, what we're doing, but I have my doubts. So let's just go into it and see what happens. I get a feeling I'm going to die a horrible, horrible death 69 times again, but we're gonna try it. Um, there's, yeah, there's no reward or anything in here, so... So he just kind of expects you to get through this on your own, on your lonesome. Uh, unfortunately. Nope, nothing out there. Okay, we're just gonna go. Hello. Hello, Goombas. Murder them all because they give you points. Alright, now we remember that down here is a thing. Alright. I forgot I have to wait. Uh, okay. This is gonna make it a little bit more difficult, but... Okay, run, run. Okay. I've... I made it through. Alright, I figured out how to do that first try, so... That gives me optimism that I'm gonna be able to do this. <laughs> or not. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna, so how I'm going to structure episodes is that I'm going to either beat a level or run down all my lives. That is what's going to happen. That's what's, that's just what's going to happen with this. I'm going to either beat the level or run down all my lives. That's what I'm going to do. Um, okay, well, I know what I'm, I, I generally have zero idea of what I'm doing. Um... Yeah, I, the levels are mean. Also, the game grumps have started playing their playthrough of it. So, yeah, I want. I'm. I'm actually gonna watch that at some point and see just how much they're suffering in, as opposed to myself. Um, I get the feel. I mean, I get the feeling they probably haven't made it to the end either. I forgot that was there. <laughs> My bad. My bad. Might be. Um, okay, run. I forgot about that. Actually, I ne actually now that I know that that first block is safe because it doesn't ricochet past the little board, it doesn't ricochet past the scrolling um whatever the hell it's called the the thing that the one way um sign thing that's that's in the level that you can put in the levels to keep people from backtracking. I didn't know that was safe, so so that's helpful. That's helpful information to have. All right. Um, um, okay, let's do this.
Ah, uh, okay. Alright, well, I'm gonna burn through- I think I'm gonna burn through all my lives again, but... I should know what I'm doing now. Hopefully. I have my doubts, but... Actually, actually, I don't know if I'm going to be able to replicate the success that I had with this, because I just kind of got through the level on a blind panic. I'm dead. I kind of just got through that, that one section of the level on a blind panic. I... What, I didn't know how... I don't even know how I did it. I think I just... I think I just didn't th overthink it a whole bunch, and then I just kind of wound up in the correct spot that I need to be at the correct time, and that's how I managed to survive that. Um, at least for the time being, but... Yeah, and, and also my lives are... My debts are accumulating there, specifically. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. If, if I can make it through the first level today, I'll be happy. If I can make it through the first level today, I will be happy. I have my doubts I'm going to be able to do that, but I would be happy. Hmm. I believe once... Although I do believe once you've beaten a level, it does stay cleared. I believe. I've never actually tested that. I've been working on a cross world of my own. I probably won't release it anytime soon because I'm not very good and it'll take me a long ass time to actually figure out how to make good levels. Um, but, uh, my course world, but yeah, I, I don't know what, ha I don't know if you can actually, if, actually, if they, if you clear them and they stay clear, I need to look that up at some point. Although, although this episode will probably confirm or deny that, so maybe not? I'm not sure if they stay clear if you lose your lives. That's the, that's my big thing. I'm not entirely sure if they stay clear if you lose all your lives. That's why I want to look it up, because I have no idea. Okay, yeah, that, that's, that spot should be safe for me, so I should... That spot sh is a safe spot to stand. So, Ross isn't entirely mean. He does give... He do There are subtle hints to his level design that tell you how you're supposed to get through them. There, he does leave you subtle hints on how to actually survive. Um... He's... He does leave you subtle... He does leave you subtle hints on how you're supposed to actually get through the levels. Because... Because here's the thing, there are levels on this in this game that that made by people that aren't very well designed, and they aren't very good. Then most people are just kind of, oh, we're gonna make this bullshit hard level, and then they put a secret secret war pipe that just takes you to the end, and then that's how pe and then that's how they beat it to get around the whole uh, you know, unbeatable level thing that you're not supposed to do. Um, it's very obnoxious, very mean. Um, but yeah, Ross isn't one of those people. He actually he beats the levels, but then he tests them himself to make sure they're actually beatable. I mean, I mean that's what you're supposed to do in game design. You're supposed to test your play test your game to make sure that people can actually beat the damn thing. Um, some people some people don't do that, um, and then it winds up being mean. For example, um, what was it? The twenty six the reboot of Doom, the reboot of the Doom series, the the one that's just. Doom 2016 or what, how, whatever it's called, um, whatever the hell, but, um, the thing about that game, um, is that it had, is that it had it, is that they added a really, a really abusive dif difficulty mode, and then it turned out, and then it turned out the developers never actually tested it, and they, and even they couldn't beat it, so, so it was never, te so there was, so there's a difficulty setting that is, has officially never been tested by the people that actually matter. That there, there, there's officially a, a, a difficulty setting in Doom that 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 is that the developers themselves have never actually been able to beat. So, yeah, make sure. So yeah, that's just a further good reason to play test your games because if you don't know what you because if you do not play test them, then your players will and they will and they will call you out on on being terrible at it. I need to jump on there off that guy, don't I? To be able to get to be able to get out safely. Pretty sure, pretty sure, pretty sure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose all my lives. I know I am. 
I'm dying on Goombas. That's a thing. That's the thing that's that's bothering me about this. I'm dying on Goombas. Um, but... But yeah, the game... But yeah, some people just don't play test their games very well. Um, there's some, there are some games that are notoriously difficult, and that's the whole point. People, but if you don't play test your games and they're just difficult for the sake of being difficult, then, uh, what are you even doing? That's, that's not a good thing. That's not a good thing. If you don't play test your games and then they wind up being incredibly difficult, um, that's a problem. That's inherently a problem and it is entirely your fault if you, if people can't play your, beat your games because you did not play test them properly and now nobody can beat your bullshit game. And now it's your fault for looking like an asshole. It's entirely your fault. It's entirely your fault if your game is unbeatable and you don't play test the game. It's it's not fair. It's not fair to player, like at all. I mean, that isn't to say not everybody plays test their game, but it should. Be, it should. It's important. It's important to play test your games because sometimes you miss something and then the players find it and then it's like, oh, we should have caught that in play testing and we didn't. Um. For example, Paper Mario and the Origami King, for example. Um, they they programmed the entire game, they played through it all the way, and they were like, oh, this works fine. We're gonna be we're gonna be fine. No players are gonna get stuck on anything. But then but then it turned out, and I and I mentioned this in my LP of it, by the way, um, as it turns out, they missed it they missed a very crucial ver piece of piece of the game where where it's impossible to actually move forward if you when you get to the Shangri Spa area because of how it's of how the they accidentally designed it. The way they designed it is that they set a variable where the where the to where a toad would collect it, where a toad would collect a little a little stamp you get you a little stamp sheet you get once you once you visited all the hot springs in that area. At which point you get to go to the Spring of Rainbows and and make it and actually make it to the end game because it's a required path for the end game. But for whatever reason, and and I, and they did catch this. Then they did eventually catch this after some players pointed it out to them, and they did eventually beat it. But um. They did eventually patch it, patch it in so that it works properly, but for, but you could not beat the game because for the longest time, how it happened was they accident they accidentally set it so that the toad would collect the collect the sticker sheet, but then they don't give. But then in, if you leave the area and come back, you ask for the sticker sheet again, and you don't have it anymore, so you can't beat the game. So yeah, overall, don't leave, don't leave the area. So that, that, that's just the long and short of it. Don't leave that area if you're planning to beat the game. But and it is a little and it is a little bit annoying. And they unfortunately they did catch it, so you can't actually beat the game now. But it's just a little. It's that's what happens when you don't play test games. And even then, it, people aren't perfect, and sometimes you miss something. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm Nintendo is better at this at it than most, and so I'm I, I'm assuming it's just a thing. Intelligent systems just missed when they play when they play tested the game. So. Hopefully they, so they definitely caught it. Um, okay, hopefully this hurries the hell up, thank you. Okay, um, but yeah, it's just something that they missed. And, and that's to say, and that's not to say that not everybody plays test their game, but if you get to the, but in the Doom example is perfect, because if you get to the point where you play test the game, and then you don't do it, and then... If, if you don't play test your game, then you're, you're going to cause problems for a lot of people because people expect the game to be good, and when it's not, and you don't, and they find out you didn't play test it, they are going to call you out on it. It's just a thing. It it is perfectly valid criticism to be like, oh, you didn't play test your game. You need to do. You should have been done this, and the, and also the, and the Doom game and the Doom pe people behind Doom, um, they didn't do it. So, yeah. They, or at least they made it too hard and then they couldn't beat it, but then they put it in the game anyway. And I got a life from that. And then they put it in the game anyway. And that's not fun. Um, there are a couple of punishing difficulty modes in video games. Not, not, that isn't to say that the Doom one is a good example. I mean, it is a perfect example since since it wasn't playtested by the people who actually matter. Um, but the... Okay. He do okay, so he does. So he does break that block, depending on where you stand first. Um, but he doesn't come back. Okay, so now I know that. But there are punishing. For example, there I forget which Fire Emblem game this was, but there was a there was a game mode they added called Lunatic Plus, and it's basically RNG the game. 
Um, it, it requires you to get to, to, to get to certain parameters just right so you can actually get through the game because, because if, if, the, if, if things don't line up exactly the way you want, the way you need them to when you get through the game, you are not going to be able to beat it. It is, the, I, I mean, there are no, I, I kid you not, there are no guides for Lunatic Plus at all. None. None whatsoever. The game is just that dip. The game, the game mode is just that difficult. There's no guide, there's no guides because it's just RNG the game. It's impossible to, it's nearly impossible to beat unless you get the perfect circumstances, which, again, are pot are potentially hard to, hard to come by in that in particular game mode. Because it is punishing and mean. But in case, yeah. But in case, yeah. There's also, so, but then in case, there's also a couple of other game modes, like in Alien Isolation, where, where they added a super hard mode, where, um... Where, where basically it plays very similar to the movies, where everything, where you where the, where the difficulty comes from a lot of things being out of your control and not working right. And while I don't think, and while I don't think that was intentional, like in the slightest, um, it, and it is still funny that it plays exactly like it would in a movie. Where you were try, trying to hide from the alien, but, uh, you, none of the tools you need actually work properly. So you're kind of just l relying on your wits alone. It's 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 a great way to play them to play it if you're play, it's a great game to play if you want to play it exactly like it is in the movie but it's not the best idea it's kind of not intentional like at all okay okay now he's done okay I need to just I need to stand in the right place or I'm not gonna be able to get through I know what I'm doing now I know what I'm doing now I know how to get through that part. Um, that was the that was the part that was tripping me off for the longest time. I didn't know how to get through that, and now I f f successfully figured out a strategy to get through it. Yeah, rubber Super Rubber Ross World is hard, but not too difficult. But not too hard. You can't eventually figure it out. I mean, you do need to be very careful. I am. Although I should mention, I haven't even gotten through the first le level yet. So maybe take my idea with a. Take what I'm saying with a grain of salt about Super Rubber Ross World not being too difficult. In case in point, I just died again to a part I said I had nailed before. Um, but it is, it is, it is doable. Never mind. Bye, Go bye, Go Thank you for killing me, Mr. Goomba Man. Um, I, but yeah, it is doable. It's just, it's just punishingly difficult because it's, it's impossible to actually figure out how to get through some of the stuff. Sometimes, it's a lot of trial and error. And not that there's anything wrong with that in a video game. Um, I mean, especially if it's made by Ross, because Ross is a little bit mean with his level design. But but it does but it does require a modicum of skill to and a bottom of skill and knowing what you're supposed to do in order to get through. Um, and that's why Mario Maker exists. People make the, people tr tr people make levels that are designed to challenge you and be interesting. Although not everybody knows how to do that, uh, as I said earlier, but. Ross is one of them. He knows he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. He's a seasoned player. He's been at this since the first game. And he's and he's only and he's had many years since then to hone his craft since they since they've also re-released the first game on a whole bunch on the 3DS and a whole bunch of other systems. So he's had a lot of time to hone his craft and make a good a halfway decent course world. Well, actually a very decent course world, one of the hardest in the in the game to date. So Aside from some of his friends, it's who, which have made them, that it's probably one of the more difficult ones. Okay, okay, this is this is this is potentially bad. Come on, little Goomba. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Okay. Uh oh, 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 and I'm dead. Okay, I almost made it through, I think. Because I'm i pretty sure that was Ross. I'm pretty sure I got to the Ross. So, I don't think it spelled out entirely Super Rubber Ross World because, well, I, as I find out when I was making some levels, I found out there is indeed a block limit. So, there's a limit on what you can put in the, in the levels each and every time you make one. But, I, I think, and I think he kind of hit the character limit when he was trying to write out Super Rubber Ross World. But, so he just put Super Ross World instead. Um, um, but, yeah. I do think I was near the end there. I do legitimately think I would need the end. I would. I need to hurry the hell up and actually do the 
to the Goomba, to the Koopa section a little bit faster if I want to actually survive, but... Okay. I know what I'm doing now. I, I, I should mention that. I do know, I do have half an idea of what I'm doing. Um, it should be, it'll be fine. I'm sure. I, 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 if I don't beat it this episode, I will be genuinely surprised because I am, I have, I have kind of figured out, I have kind of, did kind of spend the last episode figuring out what, what the first level actually is and what it does. Um, these waiting sections are designed to put you on the edge of your seat, by the way. You're, it's designed to keep you from rushing through the game. It's mean, it's mean and I expect it to be mean, but it's a different kind of mean. All right, well, I'm down to 27 lives. I, I don't know why I'm calling attention to that. It always makes me worse. Um, uh, but I wonder how many points I need for a free man. I wonder how many points I need for a free life. Okay, I need to get over that Koomba or I'm never going to be able to beat it. Also, I should mention the the blocks are the only thing keeping the keeping the um, keeping the flump from crushing you. So once I get to that bridge, I need to haul ass. That's the, that's what it's there for. These bridge sections are designed to make you haul ass. Okay. Uh, can it shoot? There it is. Uh, uh. Okay, Super Ross World. Here we go. End. <laughs> Alright! It's progress. Good luck. You. You're. Going. To. Need. It. Okay, thank you for that. Oh. Oh, it's the end of the level. Um, okay. I wonder what's in here. Okay, just a coin. All right, I made it to the end of the level. That's it. That's game. All right, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it here. Oh, I didn't make it. Oh, but the door's locked and I need a key, so I can't get in, right? Oh. Uh... <laughs> yeah, that's what happens when Mario can't clear the course. He just s squats in the corner. All right, I'm liking that. Uh... All right, not... Okay, it's not the fastest clear, but I did do... I got a minute 16. Alright, I'm liking that. Next. Okay, that's a present. Alright. Well. Oh, it's a it's an enemy. It's an enemy fight. Okay. World 1 leads the, lead the lads. Okay, so I can't actually... Uh, can I quit? Can I exit course? Yes, I'm not. I'm not doing that course now. I'll I'll come back for that one, eventually. I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing. What I'm going to be doing for this for this. Um, but that's gonna do it for the today's episode. I beat the first level of the game. Yay! It only thirty nine more to go. Oh boy! Well, it took me two episodes to beat the first level. I hope that's not a precedent for what's to come. Oh god. I'm just realizing now. If I, if that is, if this isn't going to be consistent for the rest of the Let's Play, I'm going to be screwed. Alright, well... In any case, I think I'm going to leave this episode here. Um, so that's going to do it for Super Rubber Ross World, at least for today. Um, so... Yeah, I made it through the first level. I'm proud of myself. Um, but... And I'm at the very, at the very least, I've made it through the first level. That's all I can say. It took me two episodes, but I made it through the first level, and now I kind of understand what I'm doing. I think. Um, I have no idea if I'm actually go good at the game or not. But in any case, I think I'm gonna leave this episode here. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Also, be sure to follow me on Facebook and on Twitter in the description below. And also, be sure to check out my Patreon in the description below as well. It's only a couple bucks a month. It really helps me out, and you guys get access to a bunch of cool perks that I'm always saying thanks. So be sure to check those out in the description below as well. But in any case, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. I will see you guys!
in the next video. Peace.